Welcome food and fitness lovers to Tina's Ageless Kitchen. I'm Chef Tina Martini. You might know me as the medicine chef. The authentic recipes for all of our products are signature to La Morena. The chilies are literally hand-picked for each can. Everything is manufactured in Mexico and imported into the U.S. La Morena is best known for its quality and authentic flavor, giving our users a taste of home. Stock up on flavor with La Morena. For generations, our family has perfected authentic Mexican dishes from seasoned chicken and beef to carnitas, arroz, and barbacoa. The Cardenas family has always followed the traditions of their ancestors when it comes to cooking. From the beginning, they've created authentic Mexican dishes from scratch using recipes that have been passed down and perfected over generations. This tradition of gathering around a great meal with family and friends is what their here, foods, strives to pass on. From our family to yours, Welcome food and fitness lovers to Tina's Ageless Kitchen. I'm Chef Tina Martini. You might know me as the medicine chef. Well, today we're gonna to talk about longevity and I think that's always a good conversation. Mediterranean diet is always in the news and has been for some time now. The Medi diet is the one that brings the most longevity to an entire culture. And we know this through years and years of research. I think we all would like to stay on the planet a little longer, especially if we're in radiant health. So today I'm gonna to show you a couple recipes that are going to help work that Mediterranean lifestyle. And you notice I'm not focusing so much on diet, we wanna focus on lifestyle into your life and your nutrition program. So what I have in front of me are some lentils and that's gonna be the service point for our burger and everybody I think loves burgers, who doesn't? But today we're gonna use ground lamb and lamb on its own has really prominent medicinal benefits. So we're gonna talk about that as well as kind of a plant-based diet that comes through that culture naturally. So let's go ahead and get our lentils started. I've got some vegetable stock here and I really don't like to cook things in water and I think you'll find that most chefs hardly ever use water. Why? Water has no flavor. Now there are some times when water is required. However, if you have an opportunity to impart more flavor into your grains, legumes, beans, and that kind of thing, definitely go for the stalks and broths. So this is a vegetable stock that I made out of kitchen scraps. Now you know that chefs don't throw anything away and I'm the same way. So what I'm doing when I'm cleaning vegetables, like even our radicchio or our red pepper that we're gonna roast today, I'm putting those scraps, those usable scraps that is, into a freezer bag and putting those in the freezer for later use. The goal is to not throw anything away and that way you maximize your food budget. All right, so let's go ahead and light this up and then we'll get our stock boiling and get our lentils going. Now I've rinsed the lentils and these are just a basic brown lentil. There's green lentils, black, red. You use whatever you like. The whole idea here is to create a couple different sources of amino acids and protein and lentil are one of the highest plant proteins that we know of. So I'm gonna bring my vegetable stock to a boil. I've rinsed my lentils thoroughly and we wanna do that with all of our agricultural products like grains again and beans and such. So let's go ahead and light our burner. Now the vegetable stock needs to be really at a rapid boil before we put our lentils in. If you let lentils and legumes sit around in your pot, they start to half cook and that's when things can go wrong. So definitely make sure that whatever liquid you're gonna cook your beans and things in, you bring it up to a thorough boil. Now we wanna season that as well, so I'm gonna put a little bit of oregano in, and oregano has a lot of medicinal properties as well. As a matter of fact, one of the best things that oregano does for us is really calm the symptoms of PMS and menstrual 
menstrual discomfort. So a great thing to do with oregano, not only cooking with it, but you can also make a bath soak out of it and it really helps with sore backs, bloatedness. It also helps with the joints and we've talked about that before, chefs. Oregano is one of the best herbs we can take when we're experiencing things like arthritis. All right, so here to the lamb. Lamb in general is very lean. And as Dr. Virginia Livingston said, lambs really are not prone to cancer at all in their genetic makeup. As a matter of fact, she used to say, one in one million sheep will get cancer. And that being said, we want to know that lambs often are more of a free-ranging animal and are not quite so factory farmed as perhaps cattle and other types of animals are. So we want to really get an animal that lives a clean life and feeds on grass and gets sunshine and that kind of thing. Now the next thing that we're going to work on is our grilled radicchio. Yes, we're going to grill lettuce leaf. Now radicchio, of course, it's a little stronger of a lettuce. It's not so uh, dainty as, let's say, red leaf. It's got more structure to it. The red tells us that there's anthocyanocides. We've talked about everything, the color of blood, purifying the blood, but here's what else radicchio does. Radicchio is a bitter lettuce, and what that tells us is that it's a liver tonic. Things that are bitter on the palate often strengthen and cleanse the liver for us, which the liver is responsible for so many things. But the one major thing that it does is remove toxins from the body. Number two is it's our fat burning go-to machine. So we definitely want to keep the liver healthy and strong and efficient, just like everything in the body. So you can see how beautiful this is. I'm going to rub it with just a little bit of olive oil. Now, of course, you want to clean everything thoroughly. And we're going to work with raw meat here after you've gotten everything cleaned and in place, and of course we always want to have our mise en place put together, you're ready to assemble. Now the goal here is to have something other than a piece of bread to put our burger on. So we're going to grill the radicchio with a little bit of the Mediterranean go-to, and that's olive oil. Oleic acid does so much for the immune system and really helps to bind the water we drink to our tissue. I noticed that our vegetable stock and our oregano has come to a boil. I'm going to add our washed lentils and just put those in and we'll cook those about 20 minutes or so. Let's let that go, give the pan a little bit of a swirl. I'm gonna turn this fire down just a little bit, chefs. All right, so that's working. Now we're gonna put our lamb burger together and let's get another burner going so that we can show how to roast our red pepper. Now roasted red pepper, really delicious, one of my personal favorites, and it really is a staple in the Mediterranean diet. Red bell pepper has carotenoids, as we see here, in the bright color, but it's also very high in vitamin C. So really working these into the diet is a great way to add sweetness and texture, but also lots of the vitamin C and the carotenoids that help repair damaged tissue. Hi, I'm Chef Joseph Manero with Taste This TV. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about Cat's Gluten-Free Products. Now, Cat's Gluten-Free is not only gluten-free, but it's nut-free, dairy-free, and soy-free as well. So when you're looking for a healthy, alternative, gluten-free snack, Cat's has got you covered. From their powdered donuts all the way to their cherry pie, chocolate muffin, choose Cat's whenever you're choosing the dairy-free and gluten-free. That's enough for Taste This TV. For more information, log on to the website at the bottom of the screen and check out Cat's. All right, let's get some fire going. Now, I know this is gonna seem a little unsafe, but believe me, it's perfectly safe. I do it all the time. Just do things in the kitchen with care and pay attention to what you're doing, and that's all you need to do. All right, so remember that food does not brown when it's wet, and that goes for veg and meat. So anything that you want to get a brown, caramelized color on needs to be dry. So I've washed this and dried it. I'm gonna set it right on the open flame. All right, so we're gonna let that burn and let that skin kind of puff up and peel away. And then I'm gonna throw it in just a regular grocery bag. Now remember, nothing hot in plastic, chefs. You're getting all those PCBs and all those chemicals that stay in your cellular makeup forever 
when you heat things in plastic. That's why no microwaving in plastic ever. So you see people roast these vegetables like this or the peppers as we're doing today and they put them in a plastic bag where you're just absorbing all that plastic into your food. So please, 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 no more microwaving in plastic and no more putting hot food, including if you've made a soup, into a plastic container. All right, so we're just gonna let that go ahead for now and let's mix up our lamb burger. Our lentils are working. Now I've got the ground lamb here and lamb really great for all the B vitamins that manage stress, really help our nervous system calm down. And again, it's more of an easily digestible kind of meat as opposed to maybe a red meat or that kind of thing. Let's go ahead and do just a little bit of diced or minced onion. I've got some white onion here just because I like the mildness of the white onion. Purple onion gives sweetness and that would be nice as well. The onions really reduce trauma in the body and they build our immunity through something called quercetin. Quercetin was even used by NASA to reduce the tension and pressure and stress on the body of the astronauts and jet pilots that fly combat missions and that kind of thing. So we're looking at working on isolating quercetin so that we can greater reduce the trauma in the human body. I've got a little bit of feta and that's the sheep's milk cheese. Uh, goat milk is very nice as well, either or, and very traditional in the Mediterranean diet. Now, one of the things here is that, again, it's an easily digestible protein that actually helps the digestive enzymes work in your gut. And we hear that a lot about the friendly bugs or the friendly flora in our gut system and our intestines. And that really maximizes the way we uptake the nutrients in food. And feta is a big assist on that. All right, I've got some classic flavor here with the red wine vinegar. And then we've got the olives. And nature really shows us and tells us what the food is good for when we pay attention. An olive is similar to the shape of an ovary and olives are excellent ovarian food. So if you're experiencing ovarian cyst syndrome or things of this nature where the ovaries are experiencing an imbalance in hormones, olives, and I'm talking naturally brined olives that are not done with solvent treatment, something in a jar, hopefully not canned, and is really going to help alleviate any of that ovarian discomfort and move us down the road toward ovarian radiant health. I'm gonna add that in with a little bit of the olive juice. Now the black olives are simply just ripe olives. It's no mystery. The green olives are unripe olives, but also they are different types of olives as well. And the Kalamata olive is one of the favorites and one of the go-tos on the Mediterranean diet. All right, so I'm gonna use my hand here but first of all let's go ahead and turn our pepper and see how our lentils are doing all right look at that skin we're getting that nice and black and blistered and that's just exactly what we want we're going to use that across our beautiful burger salad if you will since we're going to grill our radicchio now let's see if the grill's on here we've got that preheating and as i always say chefs Everything in the kitchen is ready for you. You're not waiting for anything. Get all your stuff together so you're taking the fewest amount of steps and make sure everything's hot and ready when you are. All right, our lentils are looking great. Let's go ahead and just give those a stir. Now, it's very common to overcook lentils. So definitely when they start to open up just a little bit, you don't want to wait until they break up because then presentation will not look as pretty and they'll also be mushy on the palate. So when they start to open up just a little bit, you wanna go ahead and kill your fire and you can take them the rest of the way in the warm liquid. Now, how could we get the lentils to cook even more quickly? Oh, well, soaking them, that's right. So we can soak these overnight or soak these for an hour or so before we know we're gonna to come to the stove and prepare them. And that's gonna cut your cooking time dramatically. I'm gonna let these finish in the hot broth because they're almost there, just a minute or so away. And let's go ahead and kill our fire, turn this one more time, and then we'll make our lamb burgers and we'll start grilling our radicchio. Now the radicchio is our liver food. We talked about that before. It's got a little bit
bit of bitterness, so it's gonna be nice to pair something that's a little bit sweet. So later on, we're gonna do a little bit of a sweet vinaigrette to go over all of this. Lentils are astringent food, and that makes them liver food as well. So the thing we're preparing here today is going to look beautiful, but it's also going to help our livers to function at peak performance and start moving us into that beautiful Mediterranean lifestyle. All right, well, we're ready to start getting our nice lunch together. This would be a beautiful dish to serve to any of your friends and family. We're easing ourselves into the Mediterranean lifestyle today. When I come back, I'll have the pepper peeled. We'll drain the lentils and start cooking our burgers. And I'm gonna show you how to make that sweet and kicky oregano-based vinaigrette. I'll see you in just a moment. Hi, I'm Chef Joe Seminero with Taste This Television. Take a look at this gear right here. Chef Revival knows how to form comfortability for chefs out there. For chefs in the kitchen, heat resistant, the look, the feel. Hey, you're working in the kitchen all day long. You want something that you're going to be comfortable in. Well, Chef Revival has got you covered. Everything from chef hats to chef pants to chef jackets and different kinds of apparel that the chef at home can use. So for more information and to find out some more incredible products on their site, log on to ChefRevival.com. Welcome back, chefs. We've docked our cruise ship in Greece today, and we're fixing up some lamb burgers. We've got our oregano lentils, and I've already drained those, as you notice, and they're nice and perfectly cooked. You want them a little bit al dente. We don't want food falling apart. We want it to have its integrity so that it looks beautiful on the plate and feels great on the palate. Getting ready to show you one of my favorite Greek vinaigrettes, little sweet, little kicky with the red wine vinegar. And let's go ahead and throw our radicchio on the grill. Now you'll notice the pepper's already been cleaned. I just used a paper towel and took the black skin off. Now resist the temptation to wash it. I know it seems like it's fast and easy and we do want to work efficiently in the kitchen. We do talk about that a lot. But really, if you're washing the pepper with water, you're washing all of that beautiful charred flavor away. So it doesn't matter if it's still got a little bit of the black skin on it. Get the most that you can off, but for the most part, keep it out of the water. All right, so the radicchio, I've already trimmed the ends and separated some of the leaves. And we're just gonna put it on the grill. Now, I wanna brush it with just a little bit of olive oil, so I'm just gonna drizzle just a tiny bit over and then we can just use our finger and put a little bit on the back. You don't need much. I'm gonna just throw it on the grill and we're just gonna get that nice charred smoky flavor on our radicchio. Let's go ahead and do just a couple more leaves. Now we're gonna plate it all together kind of like a salad with a burger on top. And again, just use your finger and just rub the leaves together. That's good enough. You really don't want it sogged down with a lot of olive oil, although olive oil certainly is a big part of our Mediterranean lifestyle. All right, let's go ahead and move that to the side because we may want to chiffonade some later and make up our lamb burgers. The pan needs to be waiting for you, chef, so get that olive oil in the pan. And let's move that over to our fire. And we've got all of our stuff together. We're gonna quickly make up our vinaigrette as well, but I wanna get the burgers in the pan so everything comes together perfectly. So let's go ahead and just use our hands, the best tool in the kitchen. And we've got our feta, our olives, our oregano, a little bit of our red wine vinegar. So it really is all of the flavors of the Mediterranean. Now don't overwork your meat, just kind of fold the ingredients together and gently press them into the meat. Again, if we keep over handling the burger, we're going to create a tough product. Now, we've got things in here like the vinegar and that that will keep it moist, but again, pressing it and overworking it is really going to make for a tough burger. When you're doing meatballs, think of the same thing, and that's also a dish that would be beautiful out of this mixture if you wanted to do something different other than a burger. Don't press too hard. Just gently bring it together 
And then one of the secrets to a nice burger and keeping it from puffing up is gonna be putting a little fingerprint right in the middle there. Okay, the pan's sizzling and that's exactly what we want. So we've got all kinds of digestive enzymes working here with our feta and it too is going to keep the burger moist. Got a little bit of the onion. We're looking at kind of the zesty and sweet flavors that bring the Mediterranean cuisine together. And I think you'll find that thread weaving through most of your Mediterranean recipes. Our lentils are savory and they're astringent. Another one of our liver cleansing foods today. And also, as I mentioned earlier, the high protein member of the plant family. All right. Now you're gonna wash your hands, of course, after we handle raw meat, we always wanna wash our hands. I'm gonna set this aside and let me just rinse off real quick. Hi, welcome to Taste This TV, I'm Chef Joseph and I'm really excited about a product that I'm gonna be using today called Skinny Girl Snacks. And of course, my favorite there, white cheddar chipotle is the one that I'll be using for this particular dish. Now, when you think of popcorn, it could be just a snack time in front of the television. But what I really like this product is mixing it with salad. And I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way to do that now. First, to get started, I'd like to do a little bit of a vinaigrette, which I take a little bit of balsamic oil and olive oil, and I pour it into the bowl. I take a little salt, pepper, and then I take some Skinny Girl and mix it in with the greens. And you can see already that the popcorn picks up the flavor of the balsamic vinegar. Next, you wanna take some olive oil, drizzle it over the top, and then you have it, another incredible recipe using Skinny Girl Snacks, in this case, their Cheddar Chipotle. Taste this. All right, let's go ahead and get our burgers flipped, and they should be nice and golden now. And a little bit of that char on there. Oh boy, don't they look great. All right and nice and tender, you can tell. They're not stiff and rubbery. If an olive escapes, that's fine. We'll scoop it all into the radicchio. And speaking of the radicchio, let's go ahead and get that off of the grill. I'm just gonna put that on a plate right here. And we're gonna fill that with our lentils. Oh boy, smells really smoky and mm, what a great aroma. All right, so we're almost ready to bring it together. Let's go ahead and move this to the back. We don't wanna mix raw meat with cooked meat. These guys are all done. I'm gonna start getting the plate ready, and now let's go ahead and make our vinaigrette. So I've got the red wine vinegar that's classic. Let's go ahead and drizzle in a couple tablespoons of that. A little bit of the fresh parsley. Our fresh parsley really has a lot to offer as far as pepping up our fresh breath, preventing gingivitis. It's also a really good tool to create healthy gums. And of course, that's what holds our teeth in place. So we need to focus more on our gum health as well as our tooth health. Now the parsley is a great tool that will do that. And I'm gonna use fresh here. If you only have dry, that's fine, chefs, don't worry. All right, I've got a little Dijon mustard and that's gonna help bring it together. I'm gonna use a little bit of our dried oregano to mimic the flavors that are going on in our burgers and in our lentils. A little bit of cracked black pepper, and we want kind of a coarse grind here. That's very traditional in the Mediterranean. And remember, black pepper is a really great liver cleanser. So again, our menu today is not only about longevity, but it's really making the most of our liver's efficiency and all the great things that it does for us. I'm gonna put a little bit of feta in. If you just wanna leave the feta in the burger, that's fine, but I do like to have a little bit of that creaminess in the vinaigrette as well. I'm gonna use just a little bit of honey for sweetness. We talked about the flavor profile of the Mediterranean often is kind of a sweet and zippy or kicky um, feel to it. The cuisine of the Mediterranean really does have that zing to it as well as that sweetness. And so the honey here will offer that note that's very common in many Mediterranean recipes, kind of sweet and zippy at the same time. A Little bit of fresh garlic. Now the parsley's gonna help keep our breath fresh 
and that will really help with the garlic. Remember, the oil of the garlic permeates everything, and that's why we want to keep it off of our hands if we can, but we definitely want to get it in our body because that unctuousness, that very profound, strong medicinal quality of garlic keeps us immune maximized, and that's what garlic and onions do. And as you see, we're using those in a couple different places. All right, so that's just about everything. Now let's go ahead and whisk and drizzle in our olive oil, and I'm also going to bring in our Dijon mustard, which will help to bring together and emulsify the dressing. So let's do that, and I've got a white wine Dijon here. All right, I think I want just a little bit more of that, chefs. All right, let's put that aside and whisk together what we have, and you can see how gorgeous that is. Really herbaceous, gonna have that creamy element, but again, not too sweet, just that sweet underlying note. Very subtle on the palate is what we're looking for. All right, so we're gonna whisk as we bring in our olive oil. And I'm not gonna use too much olive oil. There we go, let's go ahead and whisk that in. Beautiful, I myself am a vinegar girl. I love that bite of vinegar. But of course, if you wanted to, you could add just a little bit more of the olive oil. And I think I'm gonna add just another teaspoon or two. Okay, bring it all together. Let's move that to the side here. And we're ready to plate. Now, doesn't this look great? Now, we've got our roasted red bell peppers, and that's going to add a smoky kind of sweet element, and then our grilled radicchio. Now, you can see here that we've got beautiful grill marks on the ribs of the radicchio. It softened it a little bit so that it's not quite so bitey on the palate, and you want to create a nice experience on the palate. I know I speak of that often for your diner and yourself, of course, to create maximum enjoyment. So let's go ahead and kind of fan that across the plate. We'll put our lentils in. It's okay if we get a little bit of honey on our lentils. Again, you want to weave the flavors that you're featuring throughout all of your different recipes. And I'm just going to put that down on the grilled radicchio. And I'm going to do every other one. We don't need that many lentils. Oh, boy, the aroma in the studio is fabulous. Let me get my flipper here. All right. And then let's go ahead and park that there. Shall we do two or shall we do all three? Let's see how it looks. I think I'm going to offer all three. And you can see the feta, the black olives. Let's go ahead and drape a couple of the bell pepper strips over. All right, let's go ahead and lay another strip of that pepper over. Now, if you wanted, you could dice them, but I think this makes for a beautiful color presentation with our purple radicchio in that. All right, so let me grab my spoon over here. Let's go ahead and lay some of that vinaigrette right over. You've got the creaminess of the feta. Oh, the smooth, beautiful body of the olive oil and the parsley. Doesn't that look fabulous? I'm just going to lay a little bit around the plate here, and you are all set. Well, I think anyone would enjoy a trip to the Mediterranean with you, chefs. I hope you've enjoyed your cruise over to Greece with me in the Ageless Kitchen today. This is a liver powerhouse, and I wish you much health and happiness and that your liver stays kicking for the rest of your life. Here's to longevity. Here's to living a great Mediterranean lifestyle. I'm Chef Tina Martini. I'll see you next time. Here's to your health.